Anne Hamilton is a sculptor who over the past years has produced works as big as a three-story house and as small as a thimble. All are meant to be read as structural, sensory and linguistic surrounds. Whether amassing enormous quantities of materials or conversely clearing volumes of architectural space, Hamilton always focuses on the way a body of knowledge is generated, contained, perceived and absorbed. Her installations are also about each increment of material, positioned or formed by the hand and the making of the totality, about the memory embedded in objects, materials or gestures, and about the concrete realities of poetic composition. In Anne Hamilton's Body Object series, Hamilton photographed her body with a range of mundane objects replacing a key body part. A paddle, a door, a shoe. In Untitled, number 5, Bush Head, Hamilton's head is replaced by a dense bush. Her hands and legs stand out for their fleshiness in this hybridised form. Though the bush is mute, silent and unbody-like, somehow the image makes sense. The viewer is left to wonder about the implication. Should the image be taken at face value, as humorous, surreal, or disturbing? Or should we read into it questions about embodiment and sensation, and attempt to reason out the body's new functionality? It is almost impossible to avoid the latter. Habit prompts us to imagine embodiment in even the most vaguely recognisable human images. We cannot help but wonder about the bush head's muted senses and imagine a scenario where the body moves using touch alone. Hamilton's best known works are frequently unsettling as they offset a meticulous attention to materials and a basic grace by rendering familiar tropes or motifs deeply strange. Any ominous note in Hamilton's work is offset by a heartening sense of attentiveness. She is an artist who thinks deeply about her materials.